the Phantom Man on Highway 12. Wisconsin's Highway 12 is a long stretch of road that meanders through the state's dense forests and quiet towns. It's on this highway that Jim McClellan, a respected local and seasoned truck driver, encountered the phantom that would mark his life forever. It was a frigid night in late October, with a harvest moon hanging low in the sky, when Jim first saw the figure. Clad in a green army jacket weathered by time, the man stood by the side of the road near the town of Barabu, his thumb raised in silent petition for a ride. Jim, ever the good Samaritan, pulled his rig to the side. But as he rolled down his window, a gust of wind swept through, carrying with it leaves and a chill that seemed to seep into his very bones. When he looked back to the spot where the man stood, there was nothing but the empty night. Shaken, Jim drove on, unable to shake the feeling of unseen eyes upon him. The tale of the phantom man spread quickly in the small town diners and gas stations along the highway. Some said he was a soldier who had gone missing during a training exercise, forever trying to find his way back to his family. Others speculated that he was a warning, a harbinger of misfortune for those who laid eyes upon him. Jim's life changed after that night. He took to researching local history, diving into newspaper archives and interviewing longtime residents. His obsession grew, as did his nocturnal vigils on Highway 12, waiting for another glimpse of the Phantom. But the man in the green jacket remained elusive, a shadow just beyond the reach of headlights. Years passed, and Jim became as much a part of the story as the Phantom Man himself. Some nights, other locals claim they see him, an older man now, parked by the roadside, his eyes scanning the darkness for a figure that never appears. They say the Phantom Man and Jim are bound together by the threat of fate, two souls caught in the web of an unending mystery. Whether truth or legend, the story of the Phantom Man on Highway 12 lingers in the whispers of Wisconsin's chill winds a tale to unsettle the unwary, and to remind us that some roads lead beyond the places we know, into the realms of the unknown and the unexplained. Time, they say, heals all wounds, but for Jim McClellan, it only deepened the scars of mystery that the Phantom Man had etched into his life. The once clear lines of reality and folklore began to blur as Jim delved deeper into his search, his world narrowing to the expanse of that singular highway and the legends it cradled. Months turned to years and Jim's hair whitened like the first frost of winter. The local children grew up with the story, their eyes wide with fear and wonder as they listened to their parents recount the tale of the Phantom Man and of Jim, the man who chased ghosts. It was a cautionary tale, a bedtime story that straddled the line between the living and the dead. Jim's quest had cost him dearly. Friends had long since given up on trying to draw him back from the precipice of his obsession. His wife, a hearty woman of strong will and warm heart, had passed away leaving Jim untethered from any moorings that might have held him to a normal life. Now, it was just Jim in the road, and the specter that danced just out of reach. The Phantom Man was more than a ghost. He was a siren call to the part of Jim that could not, would not, let go. The Phantom was a riddle wrapped in the enigma of the rolling mists that often descended without warning upon Highway 12. It was in these mists that Jim felt closest to unraveling the truth. His senses heightened as he navigated the road that had become as familiar as the lines on his weathered palms. Sometimes, 
as Jim sat waiting in his truck. The silence of the night would be broken by the rustling of the leaves or the distant hoot of an owl. Once, he heard what he thought was a whisper, a voice so soft and so sad that it might have been the wind itself speaking. Go home, it seemed to say, but Jim knew he was home. Highway 12 had become his home. The Phantom Man had become more than a fixture of the night. He had become a part of Jim, a specter haunting the corridors of his mind, a constant presence that shadowed his every thought. The green jacket, the outstretched thumb, the silence that followed. It was a pattern that repeated in Jim's dreams, a loop that played over and over, a film with no end. On one particularly dark night, when the new moon left the world in shadows, Jim saw him again. The Phantom Man was there, as real as the road beneath Jim's feet, as tangible as the beating of his own heart. This time, Jim did not reach for his camera or any of the gadgets that littered his truck. He simply walked toward the figure, his steps measured, his breath forming clouds in the cold air. The Phantom Man waited, an eternal patience in his stance. As Jim drew closer, the air around them seemed to shimmer, the fabric of reality thinning. And then, just as Jim reached out, the Phantom Man spoke. His voice was the sound of leaves rustling, of earth shifting, of time passing. James McClellan, he said, and his voice held the weight of mountains. Why do you seek me? Jim stopped, his hand hanging in the space between them. His voice, when he found it, was ragged with emotion. Uh, I need to know, he said. I need to understand why. The Phantom Man looked at Jim, and in his eyes there was a depth that spoke of wars and wilderness, of love lost and time forgotten. Some things, he said softly, are not for man to know. And then he stepped back melting into the mist, leaving Jim alone on the highway, the silence a heavy cloak around his shoulders. But in his heart, Jim felt a strange peace, a sense of completion. He had seen the Phantom Man, he had spoken to him, and though the answers had slipped through his fingers like smoke, the chase, the journey, the quest had been enough. The story of the Phantom Man on Highway 12 lives on, told in the hushed tones of reverence and fear. But Jim McClellan's truck is no longer seen on the road. Some say he finally found what he was looking for. Others, that he became a phantom himself, forever searching for answers in the space between worlds. But on some nights, when the wind is just right, you can hear the sound of a truck engine the murmur of a man's voice, and the soft whisper of the phantom man, a reminder that some mysteries remain, nestled in the heart of Wisconsin, on a stretch of road that is more than just asphalt and earth. It is a passage to the unknown, a road that leads to questions that have no answers, a highway that, for one man, became the journey of a lifetime.